Hello everyone, thank you for tuning in. Today I'll be presenting harness design in SOLIDWORKS Electrical and SOLIDWORKS Electrical 3D. So what is a harness? Well, a harness is essentially an assembly of cables and or wires uh, that are bound together through uh, ties, uh, electrical tape, uh, etc. So here I have an electrical drawing of several connectors that are wired together. And you can see that I've added uh, these notations to demonstrate the destination of the wires as it can get very messy. Um, but to be able to access the harness manager and view harnesses in this design, we can go into project, harnesses. We can open up the harness manager. Currently there are no uh, new harnesses in this design, but I'll show you how to add one and we'll proceed from there. So the very first thing we want to do is determine what objects we want to include in this harness. Um, and in this case we're going to select everything. So the wires as well as the connectors and we'll right click try to right click on one of the selected objects and click on add slash remove from harness in this window that or a panel that's open on the left hand side we can configure the option whether to add or to remove uh, in this case we want to add and you can see um, all of the the components and wires that are being added let's click on check mark and it will open up the harness design manager again in this case let's click, click on new harness we can specify the route and uh, the mark, and we can even add uh, an associated manufacturing part to this harness. In this case, we'll just leave it as H1, click OK. We'll select H1, and that should be it. So we can access the harness manager again to verify that these wires and components were added. All right, let's move on to SOLIDWORKS assembly. So here we have the connectors, uh, just no harness. And we have this uh, clip as well, and we'll see what we can do with that. So using the SOLIDWORKS electrical 3D option, it's really as easy as configuring the smart uh, components and it's enabling them to be electrically routed, and then just clicking on route harness. We'll select all harness. Or we can even have the option of uh, choosing a specific harness to route. All right, so the routing has been completed. And we can take a look at our harness. You can see that the wires have been accurately routed to their individual uh, terminals. And if we wanted to route our harness through this uh, clip over here, we could easily do that by first right clicking on the route and edit the route and we'll go into tools um, SOLIDWORKS routing routing tools route clip route through clip select the wire the route and the axis of the clip and I'll click accept there and escape the sketch And there you have it, just like that, we have a harness design. If we wanted to generate outputs, uh, uh, such as the drawings for this harness, uh, we could easily do this through the going to the electrical uh, panel and then going to flatten route. That would allow us to flatten the route into uh, a drawing, a manufacturing drawing that we could use. All right, and so it's placed our route and uh, generated uh, the annotated view of the, of the harness design. And if we were to click on flatten route again, we would be able to generate the drawing um, for this route, including uh, the bill of materials if we wished uh, the connector table, the cut list, etc. Thank you for watching this video, and I hope you enjoyed it.